Brand hierarchy is for the large company to properly display their entire branding strategy of the complete portfolio. In this video, I will discuss five different levels of hierarchy present in a brand. For example, in the new iPhone 12 Pro, there are four different levels present that we can see. And you will soon find out about it if you keep watching. And before I continue, I need to remind you all to subscribe to the channel. Subscribing will help the growth of this channel a lot and to the existing subscribers, I appreciate all of you. Now the five levels I will talk about are corporate brand, family brand, individual brand, modifier and product descriptor. Let's start with corporate brand. This is the organization that owns the brand. The brand name will not always match with the brand you are consuming from. For example, YouTube. You might be thinking Google as the corporate brand, but no, the corporate brand is Alphabet. All right? And I'll talk about the iPhone example later. You can check the description section if you want to skip to that part. Another example for corporate brand is Disney Corporation. They are the corporate brand, and under Disney, they own so much that I can't even list them down without taking five separate minutes. Now let's move on to family brand. This is the next level after the corporate brand and it is also known as umbrella brand from time to time. This is the brand name that will be linked to one or more product or service category. And it will not always be the same as the corporate brand name. But sometimes the corporate brand name and the family brand name will be one and the same. The name Google is a family brand. Google Drive. Google Chrome, Google Duo, Google Maps, and whatnot. In case of Disney, ABC is a family brand. ABC has a lot of things under their plate. And ESPN will be another family brand. There are more, but for now, let's move on with individual brand level. This is the brand name and image that the consumers would associate with only one product category. For example, YouTube. You are watching videos or listening to music that still comes in video format. Another example can be Cheetos. They are snacks. There are different types of Cheetos you can buy, but all of them fall under the same product category. And Cheetos has a family brand and corporate brand as well. The family brand for Cheetos is Frito-Lay and the corporate brand is PepsiCo. All right, now let's move on with modifier. Modifier is about distinguishing the product, exactly what the customers are to expect from this version. For example, YouTube Kids, very specific. YouTube Gaming or YouTube Music. You know exactly what you will be getting in there. For Cheetos, you have Flaming Hot Cheetos, Baked Cheetos, Crunch Pop Mix, that is flavored popcorn and whatnot. As you can see, the lower you are getting in the brand hierarchy, the brand image is getting more and more specific. Now let's talk about the last level. This level is called product descriptor. It is not a separate brand per se, but it will distinguish the brand more broadly. For example, Flaming Hot Cheetos has Flaming Hot Cheetos cheese, extra flaming hot, and more that you can see on the screen. And those were the five levels of brand hierarchy. Now that you have some idea about what all those levels are, let's talk about the iPhone example. I said iPhone 12 Pro. The corporate brand here is Apple, the company behind it all. And in this case, the family brand and the corporate brand are the same. I said the name has four different levels behind it. And iPhone is the individual brand iPhone. All of them phones. The number 12 is the modifier. And Pro is the product descriptor. There is 12 mini, only 12, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. Those are descriptors. Now, there are various reasons companies break down and create different brand identities. First of all, if everything is sold under one name, the credibility of that brand image will get diluted. 
if you can buy a car and a snack in the same name, the name will not indicate either. Or worse, the name will indicate one and the other will be rendered obsolete. And creating family brands first is more important because since our end goal is growing the company in different categories, or it should be the end goal, more and more categories cannot be supported by the same name. And breaking down the family brand to individual levels is helpful for the marketers and manufacturers because they can cater to the specific target groups better. And then in that target group, you can focus more on different needs of different people with modifiers and product descriptors. Hopefully that was enough for everyone to understand the brand hierarchy concept. You can like, share, subscribe and comment and all that. Doing any of that is going to help the channel grow in one way or another. And if you want to support the growth of the channel a little more directly, you can support me on Patreon. And now time for a small bonus. Nobel Prize in 1915 in Physiology or Medicine category was not awarded to anyone. And in Chemistry category the prize was awarded to this person. He won the prize for his research in chlorophyll along with other plant pigments. And now this is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching if you are still watching. I really hope you have learned something new today. Do not forget to take care of yourself. And lastly, goodbye for now.